Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitend. In this issue, we'll look at creating a document library in Microsoft SharePoint 2010. Document libraries are what give SharePoint its document management capabilities. A few of the most powerful features of document libraries are creation of documents, modification of documents, modifying permissions, document check-in and check-out, and document version control. Follow along with these steps to learn how to add a new document library to your SharePoint 2010 site. The first step is to browse to the main page of the site you wish to add a document library to. Select the Site Actions drop-down from the upper left corner of the SharePoint window. From the list that appears, select New Document Library. You may want to follow these recommendations. For the name, type a name for the document library. The name of the document library will also be the URL at which the library appears throughout the SharePoint site. While the name can be changed later, the URL will remain what it was when the document library was created. For this reason, it is recommended that you type a name that is exactly the same as your ideal URL, then change the name later. For this site, I'm just going to name it The Point DC. Description is optional. This can be edited later. For navigation, this setting can also be changed later. Select Yes here if you would like a link for the document library to appear in the Quick Launch. The Quick Launch is the list of li links that appears on the left side of the site. Under Document Version History, this is also an optional setting. It can always be changed later. It's part of a larger discussion about document version control. If you're not sure what to do here, just uh, choose No. Document Template. Select the default document type for this library. This setting can be changed later. The default Microsoft Word document template is likely suitable in most cases. When you've finished selecting your desired options, click Create at the bottom of the window. The document library will be created immediately, and you will be brought to the document library's main page. Once the library has been created, you can modify library settings by choosing the Documents and Library tabs under the Library Tools grouping. Because we selected to create a link in the sidebar, there's a link here. With that, we reach the conclusion of this episode of The Point. You can watch previous issues on our website, navattend.com. Thanks, and have a great week.